Hello YouTube, hola YouTube, welcome back to um, video gaming news of the week. In case you have been traveling or you know, sleeping with your cousin and you missed a bunch of like the news that happened during the week for this week's gaming news, I got your back and your friend. So here we go chat. Um, Halloween is among us and um, all the major live service games you know they do their little Halloween adventures and stuff on today's gaming news we're here to report that Throne and Liberty will be having their um, annual Halloween event um, this year for the West and it's looking kind of fun actually they recently incorporated Halloween cosmetics in the game that you can acquire by swiping your credit card or simply earning Lucent in the game and purchasing through that I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you can purchase it um, by just simply playing the game and uh, selling stuff and using your Lucent. Black Desert Online also has their 10th anniversary events coming up. Um, the game is crazy that the game has survived 10 years. Take that, everybody who keeps saying the game is dying every year. Um, 10 year anniversary for BDO um, Korea. Um, it's been out for 10 years in Korea and it's probably eight years for the West now, but God, the game is getting really old. Hey, maybe it's time to switch to Unreal Engine BDO. They also have their Halloween um, spooky event. So if you guys are taking a little hiatus from BDO, maybe you can log in. They will be having a new Halloween outfit. I'm not the craziest fan of the new Halloween outfits for both game, TNL and um, BDO. A little on the lackluster side um, for that. Um, not sure if Lost Ark is going to have a new Halloween event, but something recently spooky happened. Um, yeah, uh, this is no secret. I put out a video. The video is right there where I give the reasons why I quit the game and it's not stopping. Apparently just this morning, a couple of hours ago, they ran into another bug in the game. So supposedly the game was supposed to be going down for maintenance. And when the maintenance come back, everybody was supposed to get in on this new raid and fight the raid. Well, guess what happened in EUC? another bug happened people were able to run the raid before the official release for everybody else so people got um, a chance to run it and clear it and got themselves some of the newer gear or uh, i think there was ancient or relic gear i don't know if um if by the way if i ever leave out a detail in any of my videos they're always corrected in the descriptions always even if it's like an hour later with a new information for punishments come out i update my description so just putting that out there um so hot on the he uh, heels of the recent bug exploit there is another bug that obviously got corrected faster um which is good kudos uh, to that um new world also has their um a halloween event currently happening dude i love halloween and video games they always do such a good job at bringing in costumes i love having these festive um stuff in our favorite mmos and um live um, games live service games uh moving along something that is a little bit sadder to me is um, one of my favorite games this year and a game that I played for myself off stream often was Prince of Persia The Let Lost my Crown. If I had to give uh, the highest rated score for any game I played this year, it would probably go for Prince of Persia I guess The I'm Lost old. Crown. Unfortunately, the game um, was uh they were trying to sell you early access and it was only on the ubisoft launcher rather than also launching on steam on the same day it was um it was poorly uh, handled but the team has come out and um basically i think ubisoft disbanded the team that worked on the prince persia lost crown great game ubisoft said no more no sequel and it's shut down um, hopefully the team finds uh, other good games to work on or other games projects that can work on I honestly truly believe that this game is a hidden gem and will be overlooked by a lot of people but underrated game Prince of Persia the Lost Crown really really fun really good um, uh, let's see moving along uh, Crimson Desert Online was um, 
Uh, reported, uh, reportedly or allegedly, um, Sony wanted to make a Crimson Desert or keep Crimson Desert a time exclusive for the Sony PlayStation 5. But Pearl Abyss said, nah, bruh. Pearl Abyss shut that down by saying, no way, our game is going to be multi-platform. Um, the deal would have prohibited them from releasing the game on Xbox console for a certain period of time. So the game is still going to be released um, simultaneously, as far as I know, on consoles and PC. So that's a good thing, right? Uh, we all get to enjoy the game. I hate console exclusives or timed exclusives. It's so dog. The times of 2001, 2005 are over, bro. No more exclusivities. They're so garbage. Um, so I'm happy that um, Pearl Abyss said no. I think overall, this is going to be a much better plan for them. Monster Hunter Wilds open beta test announced for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Xbox Series and Steam crossplay supported PlayStation early access October 28th through October 30th for everyone else it's October 31 through November 3rd so there is still a bit of exclusivity there it's kind of crazy bro it's kind of crazy that consoles still do this uh, so if you wanted to play it a little bit earlier, you'd have to get PlayStation Plus. Um, yeah, kind of don't like that, but you know what? Um, let's, I'm, I'm going to wait just like I feel most gamers will wait to play it on Steam. So, yep, there's that. There's also a couple of trailers that I wanted to watch, but um, I guess I'll put those in a separate video since this is tagged um, on for a little bit um, longer than I would have liked. Oh, 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 and Wayfinder 1.0 relaunch? is out as well so wayfinder decided to um move away from their partners and release re-release the game in quotations i don't know if it's a re-release or they're finally removing it from early access but the game is officially out um and they changed a lot about the game and how it worked first and foremost they are charging you a set price now i believe it's around 30 dollars and there is no microtransactions I believe there are no microtransactions. They removed a lot of the stuff that they had in the past from going from a free game to having microtransactions from now being a sold game to no microtransactions. They also added and restructured the way the game works a lot. The innards of the game have been reworked. It's no longer like this... Um, uh, like lobby multiplayer game anymore now it is like more of a single player game where you can invite friends in your world or to their worlds to complete challenges to to take on bosses and you know dungeons and stuff so it still has multiplayer on it but it's changed a little bit for more details on the wayfinder thing um click in the description down below i will be linking a video or um you know their website where you guys can read more about it it looks fun i I might give it a try myself so i don't know um so tell me did i miss any video gaming news anything that i should have been uh said here maybe we could put it on the next video comment down below like um and subscribe did i do the right thing yeah thank you guys thank you thank you thank you oh and this is my new superhero outfit what do you guys think not video gaming news but what do you think all right hurry up Hit that comment, like, and subscribe button now. Hey, I kind of need a little bit of help. How about you help me out? Hit that follow subscription button, um, all the good stuff. Yeah, comment and like, possibly, maybe, please.